All right, everybody. Hey, uh, thanks for watching this. I just wanted to talk a little bit about fuses and the clips that the Ready Rad uh, comes with. And in particular, um, most older cars will have this type of fuse panel. This is a common fuse panel from up into the late 70s. Uh, later, they went to the color-coded fuses, which are known as ATC or ATO or ATM. These are AGC, automotive glass. Actually, I think it stands for a company, but anyhow, um, I would like to demonstrate putting uh, this AGC style fuse adapter around the fuse. And in the event that your fuse panel uh, spacing is too tight, using this guy and cutting it at the end off of here and putting that in uh, where in its place because it's thinner and it's only on one side. So, first thing I want to do is, is comment on fuses. There's a wide uh, section of the fuse and that it should be facing you. A lot of times people snap fuses in and like this one for example just the edge is showing. Um, take take a, a minute and index the fuses so you can read them because at night if the thing is blown you'll be happy you did. You can get these at auto parts stores. It's a, it's a fuse puller. Uh, they're like a buck or two. I recommend having one with you. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Put this in, give it a quarter turn, the fuse comes right out. And now, commenting on the fuse adapter, the AGC fuse adapter, put it over one end, and with the, the blade facing up and the wide part of the fuse, you know, kind of perpendicular to this, put the fuse in the fuse clip or in the fuse retain in the fuse clips like that so it's easy to see and so this is facing up um, it takes a little bit of a little bit of a uh, effort and be, being careful so you don't break the fuse so I'm gonna snap one side in and of course I have it easy because I'm at a bench but in your car it's not that bad uh, a reasonably stout pliers give this a squeeze and it's in and so now that the the broad side of the fuse is relatively fo facing forward, this is as well. And you take your ready red power leads, and the power lead slips on there. You can unwrap this and head over to a suitable ground location, and that's that. Put the fuse clip on the outboard, the fuse adapter, I should say, on the outboard fuse clip. You can zoom out a little bit. There you go. Um, because this is the fused side, this is the supply side. So put the the adapter on the outboard portion, even though Ready Red has its own internal fuse, better safe than sorry. So that's that example. Um, I like people to use the radio circuit fuse uh, whenever possible because it's cleaner power. In that case, um, getting this adapter on this is difficult. I think this is a slightly narrower space and it's just an aggressive spring situation. So instead of worrying about that, um, use this other clip, uh, this other adapter rather, and what we're going to do is we're going to modify this a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is this little, this little J right here, we're going to cut that off. It goes in the garbage. Hopefully not in your foot. Take this and basically form a bit of a curl like that okay and now because this is fairly thin metal take your ready rad power lead and put it on first there so now you've got this already ready to roll now head over to your fuse panel, and this is the radio circuit. And if you can, I really recommend you, you guys use the radio circuit fuse because it's cleaner power. Um, you can use some of these other ones, uh, but they can be noisier electrically. And on the AM uh, Ready Red, since AM is amplitude modulation and noise is an amplitude function, you're going to be picking up more noise on, on other fuses possibly. Anyway, so we're going to slip this guy in here. And again, I've got it easy because I'm on a bench. But you're going to take this. Actually, that's a little bit too much curl. And you're going to slip that guy 
right in there like that. And if you give it a, a, a tug, it doesn't come out. It doesn't have to wrap all the way around. You can see maybe that it's only, only about a quarter of the way around. But there's two spring clips holding it on. It's got good spring force on the fuse and on the adapter. So now you've got that. And again, head over to your nearby ground uh, for the purposes of grounding the Ready Rad. So that's, that's my recommendation. Thanks for watching, actually. Hey, it's another high-tech, high-dollar video from the Ready Rad guys. Please like us and share. Thanks for watching. See ya.